We don't play the social game. We are social. Power 98.5. You're listening to Power 98.5, powered by United Angels Dream, your number one resource for public relations, entertainment, and multimedia. Contact them today at unitedangelsdream.com. Hi, this is Dan Aykroyd. He's progressive. He's beautiful. He's thoughtful. He's intelligent. He's powerful. He's positive. He is Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Empowering listeners from the U.S. to the U.K. Live on air with Stephen Cuoco. Hey, what's up? My name's Grant Kenoki. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and artist, and you're listening to Power 98.5. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and you're live on air with Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I was like, do I want to talk or say something about the weather, or, or where do I want to go right now? As you all know, I don't script anything. Uh, yeah, we have another overcast day. I'm, I'm currently here in Vegas, as some of you, if not most of you know, uh, finishing up on some projects out here and with some clients. I, things are changing. Things are really changing. Five days of full on hours worth of rain. Never seen it like that before, especially here in Vegas. I like it. However, uh, I don't like any of my vehicles to get wet. And I'm always out there with a towel drying them off. And uh, they look good. I just like to drive around in a nice, polished, clean vehicle inside and out. It's not an OCD thing. It's just something I like. I I really enjoy having a clean vehicle. Uh, Hold on. What's that? Oh, okay. Um, (laughs) I enjoy having a clean vehicle. So I don't think there's any rain today. It looks great. And um, yeah, I uh, am looking for a good drive. I think I'm going to go take a nice uh, afternoon drive today. Um, What else is happening? Yeah, head on over to power985.com. Click that bottom icon if you have any questions or, you know, you want to, you know, share any thoughts or love and support, especially we've got Mike Pyle on today. He's best known from HGTV. We're going to go into all great things about Mike Pyle. Yesterday, we had my good friend Robbie Jester from Netflix Pressure Cooker. Did you guys listen to that interview? Because I know the DMs have been blowing up of people wanting to know more and asking, you know, hey, what's his email and some other chefs that wanted to contact him. Head on over to power985.com, all things Power 98.5, sports, news, entertainment, just whatever you need. The schedule is there. Click on uh, Listen Live or Live Radio. You'll find out all about our shows, Resilient You with Alicia Pazzoni, Catherine and Company with Miss Catherine Swain, as well as mine. We are live. These are recorded and re-aired. Always check the schedule. However, if you're not able to be with us, we are available, or I will say my show is available on Amazon Music, Amazon Audible, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. Remember, this is a radio show, not a podcast. We just want those podcasts there the shows there on these podcast channels easily and effectively for you to listen at your you know leisure when you have the time when you can catch up and also for google search purposes we want to make sure that all of the guests that i have on my show uh, are easily found and with its updated content of who i interviewed and what the latest and greatest is that's happening in their life in their career and what they're doing in the world uh I don't think there's anything else we've got to cover, do we? No. Like I said, if you guys, uh, whether you're listening on the iOS or Android app or on the website, click that bottom right-hand icon and send us a message. That is a 24-7 message uh, center where you can uh, send something to my team. And we'll be happy to share whether it's uh, live here. If you've got any questions for Mike or want to share love and support. Definitely uh, send us that message. If you'd like to be a guest on any one of our shows or any music submissions, you can email us at power98.5radio at gmail.com or contact at power985.com. He's designing with passion. 
And that's Mr. Mike Pyle, landscape designer and co-host of HGTV Inside Out. Mike Pyle has been in the landscape industry for over 20 years, specializing in all areas of landscape from design to construction to outdoor furnishings and fire pits. Mike spent many years in Palm Springs, California, running his own landscape construction company, gaining hands-on experience of the necessary elements to build a beautiful and functional outdoor space. Now residing in Orange County, California, Mike owns a landscape design firm managing his team of designers and projects anywhere from Southern California to Eastern Idaho, gathering knowledge from a variety of climates has allowed Mike to create a very unique and drought tolerant landscape aesthetic for his clients. For the past two years, Mike has co-hosted HGTV's Inside Out, where he works with clients on their home renovations, balancing their priorities and budgets to create a and budgets to create a stunning space. And Palm Springs, Mike, welcome to the show. And I used to live in Palm Springs back in 2012. Oh, wow. We were there. Uh, I was just leaving. Thank you for having me, Stephen. And yeah, I was, I think I left Palm Springs around 2011 or 12 right there. So we, we just missed each other. <laughs> we did. I was living off of East Hockwitz Canyon Way. Oh, yeah. I know that area very well. I have a few projects up there. <laughs> What's been happening? Are, like, are you still still with HGTV? Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't watched HGTV so far this year. I'm getting back into playing catch up right now as like you, I'm sure with traveling and projects. What's going on in and out of HGTV? So yeah, we are, we're still filming. Uh, season two was interesting. Uh, COVID kind of presented some hurdles we had to get around. So permitting was an issue. So essentially we split the season up into two parts, two, four part seasons essentially um we're wrapping up the last two as we speak they should be wrapped up in the next few weeks and then they're going to re-air hopefully all eight episodes in the spring and that's just that still hasn't been determined but it's looking like we might just do a full re-air of all eight episodes in the spring which is exciting what was that like when what was going through your mind television casting you know being able to expand who you are Take us back to that moment. I mean, it it all started with a with a DM in 2017 from my now producer uh, Nate Harrington, and you know, I, I initially had no interest in in doing this. Uh, it's just really not. I'm just kind of quiet into myself overall as a person. Um, but he, he kept at it, and he kept kind of asking me to to try it out, and uh, you know, Carmine. Carmine's a little more, he likes the spotlight. He enjoys that. So I brought him along to kind of lessen the blow and, and make it a little more easy for me to make that transition into television. And uh, I'm glad I did because it's, it's an experience that really just opens up a lot of doors. And, and I know I, you know, looking back at it, I would have regretted it greatly if I did not take that chance. Knowing what you know now, Mike, compared to before, what has it done for you professionally work-wise and relationships, uh, having a status uh, on television, a presence, very well respected. A friend of mine told me about you and and suggested and said, you know, I really think you should interview this guy. Uh, is there any challenges that you face at all? Or, or let me rephrase, how do you find or establish balance? And where is there balance between personal life and television. Let's start there first. Yeah. So balance is a good word that I'm still working on with my life coach currently. So um, haven't figured it out completely yet. Um, it's an ongoing thing. And I think it'll be ongoing for the rest of my life just to find that balance because, you know, with running my design business and then I have a line of fire pits and then I'm filming and now we've opened this whole other door of paid partnerships. So I'm creating these partnerships with companies, you know, SPJ Lighting, Titan Turf, Red Outdoor Living, so on and so forth. So you have to like, there's now I'm like essentially running like three or four businesses and balance is something that is at the top of my list and taking care of myself, you know, finally got my sauna cold tub set up at my house. So I work out, make my health a priority. 
And the day starts with that is just taking care of myself, getting on the right track. And if that doesn't happen, I've noticed just a great difference in how my day is, how my mood is, and how just the overall outcome is at the end of the day. What would you say would be your signature identification? You're establishing balance, you're developing and having techniques, routines for that balance. Yet you're able to be expansive and, and do several things at once. Like you said, partnerships, you've got these collaborations, you've got television. I'm looking at your Instagram right now. One of the things, you know, that I, I see and I notice is that whether you speak it or not, it's almost like there's something going on with your eyes. And, and even from some of the videos that I had watched on, on your Instagram, Mike, and for those that are tuning in, you can go to Mike's page at Mike pile design m-i-k-e-p-y-l-e-d-e-s-i-g-n um you're someone that i feel that speaks when necessary speak when asked but also you're very exceptional in silence and i believe that you can give an answer and 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 most likely i'm assuming easily to be able to be read by people who really know you and who are passionate about knowing you and your work ethic and the way you work. Is there balance within that to where you are able to be human and you're able to be a husband and you're able to be a leader, but you don't always have to delegate and speak and give a directive because you're working with such great people and such great team to where your energy and your body and your body language speaks for itself. Yeah, it's something that that I've kind of grown into, and you know, my team is is what makes me be able to to not have so much stress on me, and for me to be able to just speak, you know, from the heart. And you know, I, I tell people all the time, like, you know, I'll, I'll create these partnerships, and they try to give me scripts, and I, I'm not an actor, but that's that's one thing that I'm not, and I never will be. Um, I always want to speak about things that I'm passionate about, and it just comes from. You know, from my heart, and I, I feel like that is that translates, um, you know, with what I do. Um, but I can't do any of it without my team behind me, and you know, being able to do everything that's happening behind the scenes in order for me to be able to go into a situation where, whether I'm filming or whether I'm on camera for paid partnerships, it just it's gonna tra it just translates so much better of the team efforts behind me and able to get the best result that we can. What do you want in life? What do you believe that you really want outside of everything you've already done and accomplished? As far as just like career oriented? Anything. What what, what do you believe is going to um, bring you the most joy, Mike? And fulfillment? So I, you know, f filming is it's enjoyable, but it's, it's a lot. It, it, it is a lot more that comes with it than I ever anticipated. Um so I enjoy that, but that's not the end goal for me. The end goal for me is um, I've always dreamt of, you know, designing homes, building spec homes and building a spec home that uh, is not just to build to make profit. I want to build something that every attention to detail is covered uh, as if I were building the house for myself, um, just to really create a strong brand in that market. And I'm, I'm breaking ground on my first one in spring in Idaho. And uh, I couldn't be more excited to show everyone what I can do and just really creating something special that I'm passionate about that, you know, I could sell to anyone that's looking for just that home that is just the extra step, that extra detail and turnkey, something that's fully furnished. They walk in the door, it's, it's complete and they don't have to worry about anything essentially. So I, I you know, with that, I love the landscape around the home but I have always envisioned just creating a full package of creating these beautiful spec homes that anyone can enjoy. Um, my uh, Christina sent this over to me. You have mm -hmm. some engagements coming up here, January 20th to the 22nd, Oklahoma city, uh, garden show. You've got a lot of garden shows happening here. What would we need to know more about this and what are your plans for this? So this is the first time I've, I've done this um, and it's kind of a season of garden shows. So 
I'm actually starting out in Vegas. I'll be at um, the IBS out there. But then following that, and actually this coming week, as you mentioned, I'm doing Oklahoma City and then Kansas City. And then I think there's Buffalo, Des Moines, Virginia, and a few others. So basically the topic is curb appeal and how we bring value to your home. Whether you're holding on to it or selling it, I feel like curb appeal it's so important. It's that first thing you see when you come home from a long day's work and it sets the tone for you finishing your day. I just feel like it's at the top of my personal list of things that you want to have within your space. Um, also, if you're trying to sell your home, curb appeal is the first thing that that, that potential buyer is looking at. Um, it's that first moment of, hey, do we have to put more money into this house and we haven't even walked in the front door yet? Or this works and it just sets the tone. Um, so it's, it really sets the tone for whether you live there or whether you're selling. And, and that's a topic that we're gonna go in depth on, on all these home shows. And I'm excited to, to share my tips and, and give people some good advice. What I hear from you, Mike, is you put people first. And I like yeah. that. <laughs> oh, definitely, yeah. It's, it's something that I'm very passionate about. Um, uh, you know, we're all, we have to make a living, right? But I want to make a living where I'm helping people and changing perspectives on things and, and really just invested in the end result and the product as opposed to just getting a, a check. And I'm, I'm going to, I don't know, would it be assuming I'm, I'm perceiving. Thank you. I like that word even better. I'm perceiving <laughs> <laughs> that you yeah, you, you remind me of me. It's about that balance. Yes, everyone wants to make a living. You know, you and I are both in a business of helping other people to be and feel successful and to to have that enrichment of having a very, um, very balanced, uh, a very warm, uh, secure, that's the other word that comes to me, secure life and lifestyle and home. We, before you go into any project or work with anyone, what is the first thing you look for when you're speaking to another human being? What do you look for? What is it that you're you're excited to hear to be able to do exceptionally well for what you're being asked for and what you're being called to do? So the first thing is finding out about that client. You know, what do you have kids? Do you have pets? What are your what's your daily routine? Uh, what, what are you trying to accomplish? Are you trying to create these moments outside that pull you outside and, you know, kind of just really want to find out what you want to get out of this. And once I find out those bullet points, I really, I really pretend like it's my home. So I use those bullet points, but then I say, okay, this is my home. What do I want to see? What do I want to come home to? What moments do I want to create within the backyard, the front yard that make me want to stay here and enjoy this space day in and day out? And it really, it sounds silly for me to pretend like it's mine, but it really, it's worked for me. And it's something that just, I think it translates well. And it's really kind of given me that success that I've found. I'm looking back and thank you for that, Mike. I'm looking back at the, uh, the video, the post that you did with the reef, the Christmas or holiday reef, it, you've got this magnetizing smile about you. And I, I don't know how you were perceived. I would love to have a cocktail or hang out with you, uh, especially when you come to Vegas. would love to get together. I, I, are you ever misperceived by people? Because you, I don't think you have a rough or hard look about you. I like the tattoos. Your fashion is on point. It's simple. It's stylish. But, when, but to see this post of you smiling, there's such a gentleness within within you. And do most people get to experience that? Or, let, or let's say, if what would I have to look forward to to be able to be embodied and embraced by that Mike Pyle? Yeah, I just, you know, <laughs> I always say like the tattoos are a front because – you know, I, I got all these tattoos when I was quite a bit, you know, I'm 41 now. So I started getting tattooed when I was 18 and I probably stopped in my late twenties or early thirties, but you know, I, I do look harsh and from just the outsider's perspective, I, I look like someone that might not be as kind as I am, but um, 
yeah, it's just a front. I, you know, I really genuinely want to help people. I have a really soft side to myself. Um, and I just really, you know, I'm, I'm a humble person. I, I always will be. Um, I just, I think that within myself just to always remember, you know, where I started, where I came from and, you know, never, never to be boastful in, in any way. And just to always just, you know, keep it simple and uh, just be kind. Uh, that's, that's what I try to stick to. And I, you know, I think I'm, I think I'm staying on track. So, so I appreciate that. You're welcome. And I'm, I'm watching this video. We've got it on mute right now, so it doesn't come through the system. And yeah. what I really like about this is, you know, I'm originally from New Jersey and you remind me a lot of my home. I, I come from the country. My family had a farm, like horses, pigs. They are, they're hunters, military, law enforcement. And you remind me of family. And as I'm watching you putting this reef together, what's absolutely incredible, and we're both of the same generation, Gen X, I'm going to tell you that I believe you don't come across as hard as you may think, or maybe as other people see you. And I will say that it really works because doing what you're doing, you, you've got videos here of cooking, you're putting together this reef, you're, you're a host. There has to be a balance of soft and hard and yeah. you do it exceptionally well. And it works for you. It doesn't question your masculinity. It doesn't demasculine you. I mean, you can, you're someone that can really do anything that you want. And if you've never been told this before, I'm saying this intuitively and I'm saying this professionally and I'm saying this in um, a, a friendly way as, as like a friend would say. You yeah. are in a perfect space and place in your life you are designed perfectly and everything about you from the tattoos to the fashion to what you do is a great, great um, inspiration of what a man can be, of what he has permission to be. And most importantly, in this day and age where most people are so awoke and aware of how diversified and how we have more freedoms now to be more creative and expressive. Um, I'm, you know, knowing the type of generation we came from, there were a lot of restrictions of how we could be, whether it's masculine or feminine or what we can identify as. And I will say I'm extremely grateful and proud to be in this moment with you because once again, you remind me of, of people of my past. You remind me of what a real man is about and what he is to be. And then also at the same time, you may not know it. I believe that you're giving other men permission to be as creative and artistic and, and to have a balance of that masculine and feminine and to be able to stand in their own power so elegantly and effortlessly the way that you do. Well, yeah, that might be the nicest thing anyone, anyone's ever said to me. So I greatly appreciate that. And um, I, yeah, I, I'm somewhat aware of it. You know, I, I, I feel like I have a nice balance. I could, I could build a house. I could come home and put together a flower arrangement and cook you dinner mm. all in the same day. So it's, it's something that, you know, my, my father ingrained in me work ethic and it, it just, every day it was about working and showing up and being uh a being a man and um you know and then my mom you know she she's this sweet angel that just taught me how to how to be a kind how to have a kind heart and how to cook and the combination of the two really i have to applaud them for for molding me into who i am today um it just it really now that you say all those points i just i can't do anything but but thank you know, the upbringing of you know how my parents raised me you want to give a shout out to them? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Stephen Dilly Pyle. I mean, you guys, you guys, uh, you made me who I am today, and uh, it's it's just uh, now that it we sometimes we kind of get ahead and we're always looking forward, and you know, you just caused me to take a pause and kind of look back and reflect on on how I am who I am today, and and I appreciate that. And. I'm taking a moment of pause because I, I want to give a shout out to Sean and thank you so much for this opportunity and bringing Mike to 
to the fore to to my attention and we do we live in a you know uh, you know as an 80s kid it it was rough it, it, the idea of how open a man could be to be artistic that if he was not you know, a gay man, it didn't make sense from the Aryan generation that I come from, from the Northeast Jersey. You don't find men yeah. that did a lot of these things. If they're farmers, you know, they got a little bit of a pass. I'm appreciative yeah. of you because once again, you know, and I'm going to, you know, I am not, I'm not open about a lot of things only when necessary. I'm just going to say this of why it's so powerful to me is because I'm not, heterosexual and what i love most is i know what i went through as a kid and i know mm -hmm. what it was like growing up in a day and age to where i was told that i did not have permission to be me because i did not fit into a box like everyone else did like all of my my family and my other heterosexual friends and such however yeah. i did not deny my truth i did not do anything to contradict who I was. I was who I was. I, you know, I was adopted. I, I grew up knowing that and believing in what my Sicilian grandfather taught me is to be who I am. It wasn't about titles. It wasn't about, you know, certain identifications or classifications. Just be the best Stephen, not version, just the best Stephen that you can be so that you can live the best life to always be yourself. And that's something both of my families instilled in me to always be who I really am. And as a family um, and my family who are, were very strong deacons in, in a church, missionaries, my mom was a nurse, my dad was a, an officer in the Navy. Still at the same time, they knew what, what child, what, what type of child they were adopting. And my mother always yeah. said that God does not make mistakes. And I always believe that and why this is so powerful. And in this moment with you is I want to thank you for helping other men, especially in a day and age to where acceptance needs to be more of who is that person? Who, what is yeah. their name? Hi, I'm Steve. Hi, I'm Mike. Great. Everything else is non-existent. It doesn't matter of, of sexuality or anything else. Who are you? You are doing so much as a heterosexual man for other men that it is, I'm telling you right now, it is powerful beyond measure. I see it. I believe it. And I know what men like you do, especially in your profession, because you, <laughs> anybody who would ever think of Trying to question your identity and your identification would it would be absurd because there is no foul and misunderstanding yeah. as to who you are and it emulates and translates so clearly. But yet at the same time, you're once again, you're giving so many other men permission who are finding their sexual identity, finding their identity, finding and establishing their passion. And most importantly, especially in a world that is not always accepting for someone to be who they are and to live passionately without judgment, you are helping to inspire the world to see things beyond and without judgment. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. I want to play this one clip. I want to get the feel, the flair of, of <laughs> Mike and when he's on TV and getting filmed. It's going to go back to, to what I shared on Instagram. Let's go ahead and play that clip. Okay, sometimes Instagram's wonky. We're pulling this up right now. My team is, I don't know why, uh, something's going on with Instagram. It's like when you click something on, especially on the, the computer in the system, it's not popping up correctly. All right, here we go. Design. I'm in La Quinta, California at one of my most recent design on site projects. The homeowner wanted to go with artificial turf instead of traditional fescue, and that's why we teamed up with Titan Turf Supply, so come check it out. For this specific project, we went with the Celine Gold Pro. The tan fiber and brown thatch really makes the turf look that much more real. 
A pile high of 1.8 inches and a face weight of 70 ounces combines to really give you a realistic product. At the end of the day, artificial turf checks all the boxes. Aesthetically pleasing, low maintenance, and lasts for years to come while saving water. So if you're looking to make the shift to artificial turf, be sure to go to titanturfsupply.com. That's the aesthetic of establishment of excellence that you have. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's a fun project we did out in the Quinta. Um, that's a partnership that I have with Titan Turf, and it's a great company based out of the LA area. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, being in front of the camera, it took me a while to get used to being in front of the camera. I think I'm still evolving, but, um, yeah, I, I think I'm getting better as I, as I go. <laughs> you have these events that are coming up. You're going to be here in Vegas. Uh, you, you're going to be in Oklahoma city, Kansas city. Anything else happening this month, this year that we have to look forward to any VIP meet and greets, any signings with anything else happening in 2023? Um, I do have some, let's see, we have all the home shows. Like you said, I'll be out in Vegas. Um, I mean, the, the season will be airing in spring of inside out. I do have a, a partnership with smart planet, which is uh, they're one of the largest growers in the United States. So I might be having some meet and greets at, um, at Home Depot with them. And I'll be able to announce that when those are secured. Um, and then just breaking ground on that project in, in Idaho in the spring. It's, uh, you know, I got a pretty full plate, but you know, we're, we're making everything work. Anything else that, uh, we should know about before we close out today. I appreciate you for, uh, slotting out, uh, a really, really good time for us and definitely want to get everything all in. I think we covered a, a good portion of it. Um, obviously, if anyone is looking for any landscape design, uh, not only in California, but nationwide, uh, we, we service, you know, all 50 states. And um, it's it's fun to, like you mentioned in the intro of, of learning new climates, adapting to new climates and really providing a, a good product for, for anyone, no matter where they live. Um, but yeah, I think, I think we covered a good portion of it. I look forward to, uh, seeing season two come out and everyone enjoying that hopefully. And I just thank you again for, for having me on here, Steven. And we're going to have a great reason to have you back on many more times with, with everything that's yeah, on your plate. Definitely, It's awesome. Definitely. Definitely. I'll be sure to reach out to you when I'm in Vegas in these upcoming weeks and maybe we can, uh, grab a drink. Not maybe we definitely will. Sounds good. All right. Sounds good. Uh, thank you again, Mike Pyle. All great things, Mike Pyle. Head on over to his Instagram at Mike Pyle Design. M I K E P Y L E Design. He's got uh, posted back on December 28th. Uh, Mike's schedule is there of what he's doing in January, February, March. Uh, Buffalo Home Show, Richmond Home Garden Show, Des Moines Home Garden Show, Kansas City Remodel Garden Show, and Oklahoma City Home garden show any uh, <laughs> yeah i it uh yeah this is really great thank you to everyone for tuning in um this was unexpected mike must uh mike must have a lot of lovers and and friends uh in good places who appreciate his home design and uh hgtv supporters uh this um this is exciting i'm feeling the excitement and uh yeah mike's uh mike's part of the family now we have uh music artist justin love tomorrow 9 a.m uh, pacific um justin's management uh or manager um i didn't realize this and just found out uh, manages music artist Akon. So uh, Justin Love is part of the team with Akon. And uh, he's tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, we've got some more uh, coming up. We'll, yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll do that either on tomorrow's show or um, uh, maybe later on this week. We'll bring everybody up to speed of 
of what's going on with guests because I know we're still sorting out some schedules right now. Uh, definitely just spoke with NBC. Uh, we've got to get the winner of this season of The Voice. Uh, still working on that. Uh, Bryce Leatherwood. Uh, I know people have been asking if I'm going to be having him on the show, and we are working with that right now to get Bryce on um, on the show. I've been uh, covering that for the last five years. Uh, have a great day, everyone. Once again, Happy New Year. It's been a great, great year. Uh, remember, all things Mike Pyle, design, uh, host of HGTV Inside Out, landscape, landscape designer, and consultant. Uh, head on over to his Instagram at Mike Pyle Design, and then reach out to his team. If you have design inquiries, the information is there. Info at MikePyleDesign.com. And then business inquiries, you can reach out. Uh, the email is there. Uh, for Brian, uh, I'm, yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm feeling really good about this. Thanks. And, uh, thank you guys. And, um, I want to give a shout out to Ashley. Thank you for your help, uh, working with my team, getting everything over. Uh, Ashley works with Mike Pyle and I'm, I want to give a shout out to Ashley. You've been amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, enjoy the day, everyone. Uh, once again, all things public relations and media, you can go to stevencuoco.com, S-T-E-V-E-N-C-U-O-C-O.com. I, I do have my company, United Angels Dream, is in an award-winning, fully registered, licensed, and insured public relations and media and broadcasting firm, uh, the first and only to have done that on record, to have launched a satellite radio station. My reach is in 200 countries and counting. Very grateful and happy uh, to all the listeners. Download the Power 98 Point Satellite Radio app, iOS or Android. We are always uploading new music, commercial free station. The goal is not like what you remember in traditional radio. We are always updating and supporting new music artists, whether you're uh, up and coming indie or already established uh, we are there and here to support you. So don't hesitate to submit your music over. Contact my team at power98.5radio at gmail.com or contact at power985.com. Always check out the schedule for the upcoming shows. We will re-air the show and we will also be uploading it today and it will be available today on Spotify, Amazon Music, Amazon Audible and iHeartRadio. However, remember to always come home to Power 98.5 Satellite Radio first for all things music, news, entertainment, sports, and more. Uh, enjoy this Tuesday afternoon. Uh, stay safe, be well, live happy, and always remember, be yourself unapologetically. And remember, you're not in this world to, to establish approval by anyone else. Because if you're if you're doing that, you're you're not going to be in a position to accept and to be able to know how to to be who you are. So start at home first with yourself, and the like-minded people and the right people will come and be part of your path, part of your journey, and you will be able to help lift and encourage and inspire each other every day. Have a great one, everyone. Socials and let's connect.